and I'll never forget opening the door and the smell, boom, hit me in my face. It was a gym. That marketability of Joe Weider and the relationship with Joe Gold with the gyms blew our industry wide open. The first time I walked into Gold's gym, the hair on the back of my neck stood up. The gym was a joyful place. This was 1,800 square feet of enthusiasm. If you like slam the pulley or drop the weights, out! He'd cancel your membership and throw you out of the gym. As soon as you walk through the door, you get inspired. Were they competitive? They were all killers. But that didn't stop them from being friends. You gotta go to California. Could you imagine Arnold living the Jersey Shore lifestyle? Do you think that would have sold in his magazines? No. There were no real machines before Universal. And anything else was sort of like, uh, like homemade. Like there was a seated cap machine that looked like a tractor seat. Nautilus is, is the foundation for machines. Who is Arthur Jones? Where did the money come from? He has been rich and poor many times. And then, Barbara, he invented the Nautilus gymnasium equipment system. What Arthur Jones did was he reshaped the camp to be the shape of a Nautilus shell. He was a kind of a rough guy, pistol with the body bullet. I'll just toss it to the alligators, the hungry. And he was only half kidding. <laughs> they were monstrous, those things. They were huge machines. If you didn't train in a high-intensity fashion, Mike Metzer would say, you're an idiot. It opened it to a huge number of people who would never be caught dead in a gym with barbells. So that was the basis for the explosion of the gyms. Like, everybody wanted to get into the gym. Everybody wanted to get a physique like that. And once you start seeing the changes in your physique, you kind of get addicted. The social factor of that uh, small gym was uh, huge. We're in here for the same purpose, the same goal. They're looking to better themselves through fitness in some way. When I go in the gym in the morning, I'm hoodie on, headphones on, world off. That's my time. I mean, this is like, like cheers. Like, everybody knows your name down here. If you decide at 60, go to the gym, it's absolutely wonderful. But it caught on because it was power, it was strength, it was muscles. Everything originated from the gym. It all started from the bodybuilders.